Listen, you mentioned, you know, you, you played and you won $25,000 for two great organizations, Trevor Project and Glisten. Can you tell us a little about those charities just to make the public aware yeah. of them? Yeah, Trevor Project is amazing. And they've been around for, I think, about 20 years. And it all started with a short movie um, called Trevor. And uh, it's about um, young LGBTQ people that um, are uncertain and scared and feel alone and needed a resource like a 24-hour suicide prevention hotline um, for someone you can talk to. And, and most of the time, that's so helpful, just having somebody to talk to. Because I think when you grow up gay, the most challenging thing, and I know this was my experience, is that you are afraid to confide in even your closest friends and family members for fear of being rejected. So if we can provide a resource like that that says, it doesn't matter, you have a safe place to come to and someone to talk to, and we're gonna help you. Um, it's so important for young kids, uh, any youth, but especially LGBTQ youth, I think. So um, that's what Trevor does, and they're amazing. And what about and then Glisten? Yes, Glisten. Yeah, Glisten. Um, I um, I like the name. It sounds so sparkly, doesn't it? Um, and they are um, they provide um, support for LGBTQ students in our schools. And uh, again, just personally, you know, I remember times when I absolutely dreaded going to school, and I was bullied and picked on, and just it just wasn't fun. Not to mention it could have been unsafe. So Glisten works to create a safe place where LGBTQ students can thrive and educators can partner with them and thrive. Because again, and I've most of the stuff that I do on the charity side is for LGBTQ kids because I know what it's like and I know how hard it is to um to believe in yourself or feel safe until you get old enough and you realize, oh, it does get better, you know, that classic line. Um, but there's a lot of times when you don't have that perspective as a kid um, and you need someone to remind you that there's a, there's a community out there that will love and support you. Yeah, two amazing causes that I've been involved with file. So thank you for playing with them, you know. Sure. And, and just and of course, you know, I have to ask you, you know, you're, and now you're on RuPaul's Drag Race, and you said this season sort of changed the show. Can you expand on that a little bit for me? I mean, I, I just think, I think every season the stakes get a little higher, and I think now what's really interesting is that we're seeing seasons comprised almost entirely of uh, young people who grew up watching the show. Right. Um, and, you know, maybe many of the um, original seasons were uh, queens that had worked in clubs or done the pageant circuit. But some of these, um, I, I don't want to call them kids. I'm going to call them young people yeah. um, like Gigi Good. Uh, you know, she grew up watching the show with her mom and her mom is her drag mother and her mom helped make her costumes. Um, so it's just it's a different dynamic. And it's really wonderful to hear these stories. And I, we just had our season 12 finale, and that's one of my favorite episodes. And it was done virtually from home, and we were all freaking out, like, how is this going to work? Um, but the, um, the heart of the show was there in that we got to um, see their families and hear more about their backstory and, and see them as little kids. And um, I just think it was, it was great medicine that we all need right now. Well, you know, there's a lot going on in the world. We sort of touched upon it at the beginning. And Carson, I'd sort of be remiss if I didn't bring up the state of America that we live in right mm -hmm. now. You know, sure. over the past week, there have been, you know, they've been protesting the murder of Breonna Taylor, who was shot and killed by police who are executing, ex executing a search warrant at the incorrect address, as well as the murder right. of of Ahmad Arbery in Atlanta, and recently the killing of George Floyd by a group of Minneapolis police officers. You know, I'd just love to hear your thoughts on the media sort of criticizing the riots as they're going down, literally as we speak. I mean, the Stonewall riots weren't overly peaceful either. So no. is there a difference to what's going on? What can you tell us? No, I mean, it's, it's, been, it's been a heartbreaking, you know, couple of months, and we're going through so much, first with COVID and now, um, with all of the, you know, tension in every American city and, and in my heart. And every time, 
you know, even just posting on social media or doing Family Feud or doing an interview, it, it feels so trivial because there's so much more important stuff happening. And, and um, you just struggle with like, what can I do? How can I make a difference? How can I make things better? And uh, we do, you're absolutely right. You have to remember the Stonewall riots were I think three or four days in the summer of 1969. And it wasn't about a rainbow and waving flags and saying, you know, you're gonna have to accept us. Uh, we're part of our, your society. It was a, a riot that started out as a, a response to police brutality. So um, it is very similar. And, you know, I understand that enough is enough and sometimes you know you have to do these very um loud things to be heard and um we have to remember that our lgbtq experience and our our civil liberties started with a riot at the stonewall in a very similar way yeah sometimes you know i'm just hoping the world gets better and we can learn from history in any sort of way and carson i just want to thank you so much for taking the time to be here with me today and congratulations on your huge family feud win you won thank and you, you played for two amazing causes so thank you so much carson yeah i think everybody won on that one and it was just it was super fun so uh hang in there i'm yes. a fan of yours and you're doing great work and um I'll hopefully see you soon. I'm hoping for it, Carson. Guys, you can watch new episodes of Celebrity Family Feud airing on ABC every Sunday at 8, 7 central. It's a whole lot of fun.